I'm going to teach you a much simpler and faster way to fill in and sculpt perfect looking eyebrows in Photoshop. Let's go. Now getting more detailed with your portrait edits is absolutely essential if you want to up the overall image quality of your portrait photography. So in this video, you're going to learn three of the best and most efficient editing techniques to enhance your model's eyebrows using Photoshop. So be sure to stick around for all three. Okay, so here we are in the amazing world of Photoshop. And in our first step, what we want to do is recreate some hair in our subject's eyebrows. This step will help you fill in and sculpt the eyebrows from a detail and texture standpoint. A detail and texture boost is always great if you want to make your image look more sharp and crisp. So to recreate new hairs, all you need to do is go down to our new adjustment layer icon right over here and click into curves. Now you can do this with a mouse, but I would recommend investing in a Wacom pen tablet as the pressure sensitivity will make for much more realistic looking hair. But first step, what you want to do is click on this eyedropper tool right here and then click anywhere into the eyebrow, click and then drag this down. This will darken your entire image, but don't worry. We're going to go ahead and use a layer mask right over here. Click on the layer mask, hit command I, and now this effect will no longer be visible anywhere on our artboard. Now what you want to do is go ahead and click on the layer mask, make sure white is selected, and let's zoom right into the eyebrows right over here. Let's get that to a small size like so. And you can start to paint in hair into the eyebrows. And that's looking pretty good to me. And then of course you're going to want to go over to the opposite eyebrow and do the exact same. And that's looking pretty good. You can always go ahead and adjust the opacity right over here to make it look even more realistic. So bringing that intensity of the applied effect right down. Now this is looking great so far, but the eyebrows are still missing a crucial component. And that is the shadow that is cast from the additional hairs that we just created. So in this next step, we're going to be discussing how to add in some additional filler to the baseline of our eyebrows. And to do that, all you need to do is come over to the layers panel right over here. Let's close this group. Let's create a new layer right over here. Let's hit command G to create a new group. Let's rename this step two shadow filler. Then let's click back into our new layer right over here. And now a neat trick that you can do instead of just simply painting black into these areas, hit I for the eyedropper tool and let's select a color in our model's eyebrow. As you can see here, we have a dark brown selected and you can use this color as the baseline for our applied effect. Let's go ahead and hit B for the brush tool. Let's make sure that our flow is set down to about 3% here. And you can go ahead and start to paint in this effect into our model's eyebrow. In doing so, we are emulating the effect of shadows cast from the new hairs that we just recreated in step one. And now you can go ahead and recreate that on the opposite eyebrow. And that's looking great. Let's take a look at a before and after. So already we're seeing great results. So now it's time to add some further definition and sharpness to our eyebrows. And to do that, we want to go back ahead to our layers panel right over here. Now you want to hit shift command alt N shift command alt E to create a stamp of all visible underlying layers. Now with this layer, we can go ahead and create a high pass. So let's go over to filter other and high pass. You want to select a number around one. I wouldn't really push it past two here. So one should be good. You want to hit OK. And now you want to go over to the blending mode right over here to linear light. Once that has been selected, we want to create a layer mask and paint this effect onto our eyebrows alone to increase their definition. By the way, I have one more bonus tip coming up, so do stay tuned for that. So now that we've set the layer mask to black by hitting command I and with white selected, we can now paint in this effect into our eyebrows like so. 
and on the opposite eyebrow over here. So now let's group step one to three together and take a look at a before and after. Now, as promised, my fourth tip is this. If you want to start seeing huge improvements in your portrait editing, you've got to start getting more selective and specific in terms of where you start applying effects in your images. So for example, the model's eyes, the hair, the skin, the lips, the more selective you get, the more detailed you get, the more you will start to see your work improve hugely. I will be putting out lots more videos just like this one, so subscribe so you don't miss any other video. As always, I would love to hear your comments and feedback down below. That's it from me guys. I look forward to seeing you next week for the next video.